All right, let's just start punching a little bit, getting warmed up. We should get music coming in here. All right, got a Halloween themed playlist. You know, this song's a little, maybe borderline inappropriate, but it's really just about inclusivity. If you listen to it, it's just, it's for everybody. There was a radio station in my hometown that threw a yearly Halloween, Halloween party and they called it the Freakers Ball. Keep twisting. See, very inclusive, everyone. All right. Should be getting a good workout in here, feeling that blood pumping. It's supposed to be really cold tonight. I'm bailing on trick or treating. One of Hannah's really good friends, we call her daughter our goddaughter. Actually, she calls us her fairy godparents because we like to just do crazy things to spoil her. Um, but we usually spend Halloween with her. And I told Hannah, I was like, I'm, it, I'm not trick-or-treating tonight, sorry. <laughs> it's supposed to be, you know, it's in the 40s right now. It'll dip down into the 30s tonight. Everybody having a few drinks on a Tuesday night really isn't my cup of tea. When I have, when I have a few drinks, I like to have a, at least a few of them, but I don't do it very often. All right, let's stretch that out. Let's grab our right arm, bring it across the front here. You know, growing up, I always really loved Halloween. You know, those were always some of the funnest parties. And I think it was just, you know, everybody gets to pretend they're somebody else and you don't have to be yourself for a night. And I feel like, you know, there's just a different energy on Halloween night. Like everybody's just, they don't have to be the bad parts of themselves for that night. And I feel like it's just a really uninhibited, fun night. For those that are still running around doing that kind of stuff. Switch those arms. But yeah, dating, dating back to, I mean, I, of course I loved getting candy, but then I really enjoyed, you know, because junior high was, you know, when you switch to, to boy-girl parties instead of trick-or-treating. And that was just a really fun social event. Man, I don't know about you guys, but the weather getting colder, I say this all the time, but I have been so tight here recently. Let's stretch down to the right side. All right, up to the middle and then let's switch down to the left. I was thinking about doing a funk playlist next. I had actually George Clinton and the Parliament Funk started in a playlist before I realized that it was Halloween and we should probably do something for that. So let's reach down to the front. But yeah, I've been thinking about that. I've been thinking about a Motown playlist. And I've also, I've been thinking about maybe trying to do a little faster paced country playlist. I don't know what, what you guys are feeling. All right, loosening that lower back up. Man, whenever we stretch in here, it just kind of reminds me that I, I probably don't stretch enough. It feels good. I need to do more stretching. All right, if you got your water with you, let's grab a drink of water. You know, I always want to stay hydrated. And I feel like I'm more aware of it in the summer. You know, you think it's hot, you need to get water. But when the air is so dry in the winter, that really pulls the water out of our bodies 
a lot and we need to stay on top of our hydration through the winter months too. I should have been watching the humidity levels in my apartment just for her health, but my wife is very into her skin care and she was wanting to know what the humidity was and that's why we got several humidifiers going in here to try to get our levels up. Our air is pretty dry in our apartment and we're, we're, we're locked. We don't have any windows in our apartment. I mean, we have all windows, but none of them open. So, you know, we kind of feel like a stale cracker in here sometimes. All right, let's get back to some punching. Where you guys are at, I hope you have a bunch of trick-or-treaters coming to your house tonight. That was one of my big disappointments moving in to this apartment complex is I, I thought, you know, oh, all the kids that live in the building, I don't know how many kids live in the building, but I, I thought we'd have a bunch of trick-or-treaters and, you know, the first year I was so excited, you know, we decorated, set out candy, not a single trick-or-treater. So, but I was thinking it's so fun to see the kids. You know, what, what, what do they think is cool? You know, they get to express themselves and you get to see what they, they want to do. And yeah, I've just always loved Halloween. Classically conditioned with the candy from before I can remember. So of course I love it. Let's switch to some core. Let's bring that chest down to our knees and then come back up. And we're always, you know, doing whatever is appropriate for us. This is just kind of a guide, you know, suggestions, but you, you figure out what works for you. You know, I got to get my foot over here. I am shoeless today. I went into, went into work this morning, working at the hospital now. And uh, I try to get in about 8.30, um, get situated before everybody else gets in. But uh, I started having AD. All right, I had to reposition my feet. We're still working that trunk. Ooh. But yeah, I started getting AD and I just couldn't get comfortable sitting at my desk. You know, I'm in my wheelchair, but I was, you know, sweating and it wasn't like a... Uh, you know, sometimes I get uncomfortable from being out in the cold and it takes me a little while to adjust, but I just couldn't adjust. And so finally, uh, luckily, see, that's what's really cool about working at the hospital where I received therapy. Like all my coworkers are very cool and I'm sure they would have been more than happy to help pull my shoes off. But the fact that I work at the place where my therapy is, I could go down and I saw my therapist and I was like, hey bro, can you take my shoes off? Like I just, I'm having AD, I can't stop. So he's, yeah, no problem. I run down to the ninth floor, he jerks, jerks my shoes off, just keep them here for me, I'll be back for therapy, you know? And then uh, uh, my symptoms resolved and I was able to get some work done. So, all right, we're going back to some side bends. We're going down to the right, then to the left. But yeah, I was just, I was thinking about that today, how I need to, you know, send him a note or, or thank him somehow, because that's just, it's really nice. Um, you know, I, I'm, sometimes I'm in my head about my disability a lot and, you know, setting up my desk the last couple of days, I, you know, I'm asking my coworkers to plug things in and, and help me with things in a drawer, you know, uh, can you help me get a cup of coffee, you know, and it's just, I, I don't want to be the person that just always needs things. Um, so, it's, I mean, it's nice that my therapist is there and I can run down and ask him. At least he gets paid to help me with things. All right, let's get that left arm out in front of us. Let's do some arm raises, trying to keep it. I like using the screen here. I have the screen pulled up where I can see all of us and I look at the little box that has me in it and I try to keep my arm moving perfectly straight up and down. And maybe it doesn't look like that from your angle, but it looks like it from my angle. And that's just what I'm working on. I work on getting it to the center of my body and then going straight up and down. And it gets hard for me as I come up. So I try to push it up a little bit, but nothing, nothing too difficult, but a little difficult, you know, I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. All right, let's switch to the right arm.
Hey, Ray, I see you've joined. If you know anybody that wants to go to the KU game tomorrow, let me know. I haven't got anybody to take those wheelchair accessible tickets yet. Let's get our arms out straight as we can. And then we're tipping down to the right and down to the left. And that's, yeah, I'm gonna have to shorten my range a little bit. Hopefully you guys are college football fans. You heard about my Kansas Jayhawks knocking off number six, Oklahoma. Super exciting Saturday for a huge letdown with my Chiefs on Sunday, but can't win them all. Shake it out. You know, when I was growing up, I always was like kind of baffled at my grandpa and my dad being such football fans and like, you know, they know who coaches and who coaches other teams, and it just kind of blew my mind. Now, you know, I'm 41 years old. I've been a football fan my whole life, and talking to my wife about football games and talking about coaches of other teams, like, I think all of us probably at some point realize, to some extent, we've kind of become our parents. <laughs> that, that definitely hits me during football season. My grandpa was the youngest of his all his brothers, and his oldest brother was an All-American football player, um, and so he grew up watching a lot of football. He was, he was always a football fan. All right, let's start punching up. This is really challenging for me. This is a lot more difficult than the previous. that core twisting to the right nothing too jerky or too hard but just trying to work that motion to the right you know I'm always having to get something off the shelf get something out of the cabinets get something out of the fridge I don't know about you guys but like whenever I have something to do I like I try to think about doing it with like military precision a lot of times. It's like, all right, how am I approaching it? How do I position myself? How do I get it to where my shoulder is as close as possible to the thing that I'm getting so my reach is as short as possible? Like I feel like, I don't know, the way I feel about my disabilities, I can still do most things. It's just in a much different way and it takes a lot more brain power. You know, I have way less muscle power to make it happen, but it's gonna take a lot more brain power. And the little bit of muscle that it does take to do, it feels like I'm moving a mountain even though it's the smallest little task. All right, to the left. But then at the same time, I do get a lot more satisfaction out of tasks. And the other times where I, I would try to beat myself up and be like, you know, why, why are you happy with yourself? You know, that was a very you know, menial task. But just the fact that I did it for myself, that, that counts, you know? I, I feel like, I don't know how you guys are to yourselves in your head, but I, I'm, a, I'm a jerk to myself pretty much all the time. And uh, that, that's something that I really have to try to be cognizant of and be better about, is just being nice to myself. You know, that's just, I don't know. There is no, like, bad feelings behind it, but just like, that's how we were brought up, you know? Like, you know, you tell yourself you gotta be better, you know, you're, you're weak. You know, you're not strong enough. You know, that's how you pump yourself up. But they're saying that's not, that's not good for us. We gotta keep it positive. All right, let's shake that out and let's get some more water. You 
know, Dr. Marco started teaching those meditation classes for gathering strength. And that kind of put that form of exercise on my radar. And that has been something that I haven't been super consistent with, but it's something new that I've added into my workout routine. And I really enjoy it. Um, I really enjoy it. So, all right, let's go down and touch those toes. Let's come back up to a, oh, and I am spazzing hard. We're gonna come up to a press. We're coming down to toes. We're popping back up to a press. You know, I don't know if anybody even expected my Chiefs to win without Taylor Swift showing up. That seems to be all anybody cares about anymore with the NFL. But to be honest, I'm, I'm still, I'm all for it, you know. When we watch football, you know, my wife is more excited. So that, that alone, you know, my wife is more excited to watch the Kansas City Chiefs. So I will count that as a win. You know, a lot of times I'm not even really dedicated to watching the games. You know, I, a lot of times I have work that I'm working on at home. It's not like I have the free time to just be watching football and doing nothing else all the time. But I don't know. I don't feel right if there's a game on and it's not playing on the TV while I'm doing stuff around the house. All right, let's go back to punching. Mahomes jersey, yes. I love it. If you watch the game, then you know, you know, he was sick. That, that's why he was off. The Broncos beat the Chiefs, you know, and that normally you would think the Chiefs should have won that game, but that's that's the NFL, any given Sunday. What about have you guys been watching the World Series? Man, the first game, I was like, you know what? Might as well throw this on. If this is a good game, I you know, I don't want to just hear about it on the news tomorrow. I ended up seeing a great game. You know, they went extra innings, couple home runs. This guy named Seeger uh, for the Rangers just hit a bomb. And there was a, another guy who was a Cuban immigrant, I believe, um, by way of the Dominican. But he had a great, you know, come from nothing story and worked his way up. And now he's... Uh, it was, there was like a problem getting scouts to even see him at his school, but he was able to, to overcome all these challenges. And he hit the game-winning home run on, on game one. Uh, so that was just super exciting. You know, I love, I love the storylines of sports. I love the excitement. But now, the, the, I think the Rangers won last night, so they're up 2-1. to one. And tonight... The next two nights are still in Arizona, so we'll see see how the Diamondbacks do. All right, shake that out, leaning down to the right, down to the left. I'm sure you got. Pretty quiet. Technology, what are you gonna do? Keep working that side to side. Mm. All right, 
Let's press. I'm sure you guys saw, you know, all the wildfires they had in Maui. Uh, my Kansas Jayhawks basketball team, they typically play the Maui Invitational. And so they did a game, uh, Kansas Jayhawks, they're, they're number, well, they were number one in the preseason. And so they played number 25 Illinois in a charity game uh, for Maui on Sunday. And Illinois whooped us. So <laughs> our head coach is Bill Self. And when we hired him, he was coaching at Illinois. So as much as it sucks, I guess, I guess the fans deserved it. The game was in Illinois. All right. Let's go back to some centerline raises. You know, they ranked number one and they got into a close game at the end. Um, so, you know, hopefully the team was able to learn from it. I'm not saying I'm happy we lost. I always want to win, always want to win. But hopefully, hopefully when you lose, you know, you don't lose the lesson. With all the re switch, yeah, with all the recent, you know, Taylor Swift, Kelsey news, my wife and I have started listening to the Kelsey Brothers podcast. So that's, that comes out on Wednesday mornings. I'm excited for that. You know, sometimes we listen to music. A lot of times we listen to like finance podcasts when we're getting ready in the morning. Um, but I really like my, my football, Kelsey Brothers, New Heights podcast mornings. All right, shake that out. Let's get some more water. All right, let's work this reaching down to the right and then up to the left. Really reaching up high. I kind of relax and reload on the down, and then I'm trying to stretch up as high as I can. Switch. Gotta check my tube here. Party up, that's it. I think I was a little heavier last winter. These these pants are a little loose and my tube keeps falling down. And it falls down and gets kinked, and that's when it's when the high blood pressure strikes. Alright, let's cut that out. Let's go to some core. Sorry, I got a little sidetracked there with my high blood pressure in my tube. So we're gonna go forward, back, right left forward back right left and as i'm doing this i can feel where some of my weaknesses are. I have a little hitch here, it's tough to get down, and then coming back up, and then I can feel when I kind of bend around the supports on the side here, and just trying to trying to be aware of what your body's doing, and where you're at, and, and what's going on, you know? When we're in therapy, I feel like it's a lot of times my therapists will try to be very kind when we're doing assessments, 
But it's like, and not that I want them to be a, a jerk, but it's like, no, I, I need to know what I'm not good at. And you don't have to tiptoe around it. Like, I, I want to get better, so tell me what I suck at, and then I will try to suck less. It's kind of, kind of my motto. I'm, you know, just, just suck less. All right. Start punching. This is Warren Zevon singing this song. Right? It's really sad, but uh, he, he got pretty aggressive cancer. And so he decided the last thing he was going to do was going to put out an album. Um, and it, it's, it's a tough listen to, especially if you know anybody that has that you know, had cancer, died from it. Um, it's emotional and, and it's hard, you know. Um, the... You know, there was one song that's called, uh, you know, I'm sorry I'm going to cuss here, but the song is just called My Shit's Fucked Up. And he talks about, you know, the medicine that used to work. It's not working anymore. And he's, he's going to die and he knows it. And it's, you know, to hear him sing about it and get to express it, it's, 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 a, it's worth a listen, you know. And losing my mom to cancer, you know, it's, it's emotional and I don't always like it, but, it's, uh, but it makes me feel. All right, let's shake that out down to the right. Switch. <laughs> I heard him talking about this song one time, long before the cancer stuff. And he just talking about how, you know, they, they sat down and wrote this song in just a couple minutes. I'm like, if you listen to it, it's like, yeah, I, I believe that. This isn't a real, real deep song. <laughs> All right, let's get that left arm out in front of us. Doing some center line raises. <laughs> and his hair was perfect. <laughs> Switch. Man, these centerline raises really get me winded. I gotta remember to, to take deep breaths while I'm doing this. All right, let's go with some punches. I recently did uh, some videos about the movie Caddyshack and Bill Murray is stars in that and he's also in Ghostbusters. Love Bill Murray. Ghostbusters is a great movie. You know, I love movies like that. It's really stand the test of time. Working that core, chest down, back up.
right, we're gonna add toe touches and reach into the sky and and here we go. Let's get some more raises in. Just a little short set. All right, keep it up, everybody. We're making progress through this workout. We're almost through it. Switch. Twist into the right, twist into the left, right, left. And remember, we're always doing what's appropriate for us. You know, we're, we're changing this however we want. We're just trying to stay busy and challenge ourselves for 45 minutes. Sometimes I look out here on this screen and I'm like, man, you guys are all doing a much better job than I am. And I'm supposed to be leading it. Um, but it's all, it's just about doing whatever you can and challenging yourself in your own way. But yeah, I really appreciate all your hard work. down for those toes, back up to the sky. I'm curious if any of you are superstitious. You know, I'm really not. You know, I liked, you know, I guess when I pitched in baseball, I was number 31. Cause I was the opposite of 13 and I figured that had to be good luck. I mean, you can't play baseball and not bring a little superstition into the mix, but I don't know. I'm really not. There's a supposedly a haunted church by my parents' house where I grew up. And, you know, supposedly, you know, it was a natural cold spot. And, you know, if I got to adjust my headphone here, I'm going to lose it. But, you know, it's one of those things. All right, let's shake that out. Let's go back to some punches. You know, they'd set a sheriff there on Halloween because all the kids would try to go out there and, and check out one of the haunted places on Halloween. Um, supposedly, when you stood in the old church, you know, the roof was gone, but the foundation was still there. And supposedly, water would beat off the roof like there was still a roof there if you went during the rain. Um, suppose it was impossible to break a beer bottle inside of there, which I proved that wrong. Um, but the one thing that I do think that's a, you know, if you want to get a little weird, a little superstitious, when my dad was in high school, he was headed out to Stoll Church and he totaled his dad's car. He had a couple friends in the car and, you know, the way he tells it, he dropped a cigarette in his dad's car that he borrowed and he was worried he was going to burn the upholstery. And he leaned down and launched that thing off a of culvert. And, you know, luckily everybody was okay. You know, I mean, that, that they went to the hospital and stuff like that, but no lasting injuries. But I don't know if you're superstitious, you're heading out there on Halloween, wasn't supposed to be doing that. All right, picking something up on the right, picking something up on the left. Back and forth. Okay. 
Keep it up. Mm. All right, now forward and back. As we're going back and forth, try that little punch. Really throwing that punch out there and then coming back. The coordination's a little difficult here and I have to slow it down. It's more like a reach and a retraction. Alternating hands. And here we go, last song. It is Thriller though, so it's not a short one. We're gonna keep stretching and reaching, if you can. Whew. All right, shake that out. Get you a drink of water before we burn it out on this last song. up, twisting to the right. To the left. All right. Shake that out. Now we're switching to alternating. All right, let's get our, get our chicken wings out here. And then, so I'm really tight right here. This is good for me to stretch up. So that's what I'm doing is I'm coming down and then I'm stretching up, working on pushing that up and then coming back down. It's weird, you know, this stretch is really, I really got to fight to get this stretch and then I get, get a little lightheaded towards the end of this stretch. You know, I, I know that with my disability, it's not realistic to never get lightheaded. I just try to be aware of it 
Um, and you'll notice I verbalized it. Like I just try to say it out loud, you know, so I know it. So whoever's around me knows it. And then it just makes me be more aware of it. And I think it, I think it helps keep me from passing out and things like that, to be honest. So that's why you might hear me say things like that out loud. I don't want you to worry about me, but I just try to, and it's like a, a policy that I have with start punching in therapy. You know, like when I start feeling low or start feeling high, I just kind of blurt it out. You know, like this is what I'm feeling and my therapist needs to know that. So it's just stream consciousness. All right, let's finish some toe touch and military press. Man, I'm out of breath per usual. Thanks for joining, guys. Appreciate it. If you have any suggestions for the music next week, let me know. Be safe tonight.